Kia ora. Welcome back to another video. My name is Becca and today we are at Western Springs but I just wanted to take a minute and kind of talk about some of the things that we really miss about America. <laughs> this is a question that we get asked a lot about and so I thought I would just kind of make a list and talk about all the things that we miss about home. So here they are. I'm just going to start out by saying that I absolutely love living in New Zealand. We feel so lucky to be able to move here and yeah, absolutely love our time here, but we do miss a few things about America and this video is just going to talk about the positive things that we miss about the US and none of the negative stuff that's going on right now, so let's get started. <laughs> the first on our list is wide open spaces. I think that this is something that New Zealand just doesn't have because of the size of the country. There's so much crammed into the whole of New Zealand that you don't really get huge wide open spaces like you do in America. For example, if you drive across the US on a really big road trip, you can go for hours and hours and hours with nothing. You can drive for 12 hours through a desert and not see anything. You can drive through a ton of prairie lands that are just miles and miles of this vast open space that it I don't really know how to describe what it does to you, but it really does have an effect on you. It's just kind of beautiful and yeah, I don't think you can get that here just because of the size of the country. For example, Texas alone, where I'm from, it takes 12 hours to drive from one end to the next. Like America is just so big and yeah, that's just something that's not quite the same here in New Zealand. Going along with that, one of the things that I really miss about the US is straight roads. <laughs> You don't have those here. I mean, of course you do. If you look on a map and try to plan out a road trip or something here, expect it to be double the amount of time because traffic in Auckland and then also the windy, twindy roads that you have here. It's pretty crazy. It does make driving here really fun though. It kind of feels like you're on a roller coaster. <laughs> There's something to be said about straight roads that take you from point A to point B and you can go 80 miles an hour on them. It's pretty great. 80 miles an hour is 128 kilometers per hour, I believe. And then, I mean, honestly, nobody does 80 miles. They're doing at least 90. So that's like 150 kilometers per hour. So yeah, you can get from one place to the next a lot faster. And the US. Sorry, it's 145. I just checked. The fastest roads I've seen here in New Zealand are 100 kilometers per hour, I think. And those are the motorways. This next point I actually kind of had a hard time putting into words, but it goes along with how big the US is. There's such a, a vast difference in the regional cultures. So there's a lot of diversity, but I'm trying to specifically say like regional diversity. So your experience going to New York City is going to be completely different than going to a small town in Texas or going to a city in the Midwest or a town down in Florida, like a beach resort in Florida or, you know, San Francisco. It's like they have their totally own subcultures and it's just, it almost feels like going to a different country when you're staying in the same country but you're going to a different part of it. So I think that's something that is pretty different than here in New Zealand because New Zealand has more of a sense of cohesiveness, I'd say. One, because of the size of the country, but I think the people are just a little more unified in thought here, maybe, is a way of saying it. Yeah, regional diversity is how I'm saying it. <laughs> Helicopter. tell if I should just go or wait another second. Okay, it's getting quieter. So kind of going along with that, there's such a big food diversity across America. It's pretty insane. So you can do a whole foodie tour, just going all around to the different states and even different cities within the same state and you get a totally different experience and it is beautiful. <laughs> So, for example, you can go to Louisiana and try their gumbo, and then you can go to Texas and get their brisket or chili. You can go to California and eat their vegan food and seafood, or you can go to New York and try their pizza. It's like the different states and the different cities have such a strong identity with their own special foods that they put so much love into that it creates this really beautiful experience to be able to go around and try the different things. There, there's definitely some of that in New Zealand, but I, I wouldn't say it's to the same level. A whole nother topic that I could talk about is Mexican food. I miss Mexican food so much. But for example, you can go to California and their Mexican is totally different to if you go to Arizona and try their Mexican food. Or if you go a couple states over and try Tex-Mex, it's totally different. 
or if you go to Nebraska and try a random small town Mexican, it actually turns out surprisingly delicious. But then you go to New York City and you have such a hard time finding Mexican food. The same can be said with mostly any food, but another big example is pizza. You can go to New York and it's some of the best pizza. And then you can go to Chicago and it's totally different, but it is still some of the best pizza. And the same thing with Detroit. And then you can go to Texas and try Domino's. <laughs> Like you, you can have such a totally different experience in all these different places and it's still the same country. It just feels like you're in a different country. So it's really fun. I, I do miss that about the US. Another thing that I kind of miss about home is just the familiarity of knowing everything. So, I mean, this is true no matter what country you move to. Moving to another country, there's just so much that you have to learn and adapt to. It's kind of... Ooh, creaky trees. <laughs> Hope we don't get squished. There's just so much to learn and adapt to. For example, when we want to go out and eat, we have to kind of figure it out. I don't know. And like, especially when we first moved here, finding out the different grocery places to get our food from and all the different beaches. Like there's so much that you don't know and then you have to really take the time to learn about it and get recommendations and test all these different places out for yourself. It just takes a lot of time and it's actually quite a bit of mental energy that you have to put towards it. We still kind of struggle with this. We want to go out to eat all the time. We're like, I don't know a really good Thai place around us. So we usually just end up making our own, which is probably a lot better. But it's just that kind of constant figuring out that I, I, I do miss about the US. You know, when you're at home, you're at home, everything's familiar, everything is comfortable, I guess is a good way to say it side note but this is one of the reasons why I love this channel so much because we've gotten so many good recommendations and good help from all of you guys so thanks for that another thing that I really miss about the US is how quick and cheap and easy you can get things shipped to your front door I know I've talked about this in the past but oftentimes I will do some online shopping and just give up on trying to get the item because it takes two months to come here and it doubles the price of whatever I'm trying to buy and it's just hard to find and source things and so it's just too much effort I just go without it probably better for me I miss Amazon where I could buy something for really cheap online and then have it show up on my doorstep the next day like I definitely took that for granted, um, but yeah, just a small thing that I totally missed about the US. So going along with that, you have cheaper everything in America, cheaper running shoes, petrol, gas, whatever you want to call it, uh, what else is there, takeout food, everything is cheaper and it is so nice when you're there and I definitely took that for granted. I mean, even the produce is way cheaper. Is it a good system? No. Do we miss it? Yes. <laughs> So again, like this, this is probably a good thing, but I do miss that about the US sometimes. Another thing that I totally miss about the US is central air conditioning and heating. I, again, took it for granted that pretty much any house or establishment that you go to has that luxury. Whereas here, for example, we live in an old house and it doesn't have either of those things. And so all winter long, we were cold and wet and we had a lot of mold issues. And then all summer, I think it's going to be very hot and humid because, again, no central air conditioning. That's something that I really loved about the U.S. is being able to have a constant stable temperature because not only is it more comfortable, but it's also... <laughs> Hello! Hi. He just whacked his head on a bush. Not only is it a lot more comfortable for you, but it's also a lot better for your things in your house. Like your stuff doesn't go moldy and there's not huge heat fluctuations. That's just something that I kind of miss. <laughs> I know that we could move to a house that does have those things. It's just something that's a little crazy to me that it's not a given in every house and every place. I'm not gonna talk about this one too much, but I really miss squirrels. <laughs> I love those little guys. I can just sit there and watch them jump around and play for an hour. Um, but yeah, you have lots of fun things to replace them with here, so I guess I don't miss them too much. Another tiny thing that we miss all the time is turning right on red. So in America, if you come to a stoplight, if it's safe to go, you can actually turn right on a red light because it's okay. But here, even if you go to make a left turn, which is the equivalent of a right turn, if it's red, you're not supposed to go and you have to wait for an arrow or the light turn green. So that's just something that's so annoying every time we get into that situation, we're like, oh man, we really miss being able to turn right on red. Something personally that we really, really miss are the Rocky Mountains. 
we lived in Utah for a while and they're just so beautiful and living in Utah you like step outside of your door or look out your window and you have this really pretty view of mountains all around and we just really missed the Rockies. We did a lot of hiking in them. We haven't really gotten out of Auckland enough to be able to see the mountains here but we're really excited too because I think it'll just feel a little bit more like home. So this is the last thing on my list and it's just that we really miss family and friends. Obviously, it's the biggest thing that we miss, absolutely. Yeah, people ask us all the time what we miss about home, and that's my number one answer, because really, the rest of the stuff, I don't care too much. I can go and visit it or ex experience it again when we go back to visit, but family and friends are definitely, definitely what we miss the absolute most. And I'm so excited for the borders to open so that everybody can come and visit us, or we can go and visit them. So that is actually everything on my list. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if I missed anything, if you've traveled to the US and you miss anything about it, or if you're an expat like us, definitely let me know in the comments because I love thinking about all this stuff and like brainstorming and trying to find all the kind of differences and everything. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week, bye.